What's going on, everybody? I hope you had a fantastic Sunday overall, and hope you're having a very happy, very early Monday morning. This is MYG Jeffy T85 here, and I'm bringing you the BKN Nets game recap for the Nets as they end this two-game weekend series against the Los Angeles teams. After a win yesterday against the Clippers, the Nets unfortunately looked like they might have run out of gas tonight, and they fall to the Los Angeles Lakers by the final score of 116 to 103. As the Brooklyn Nets, they look like they just had some tired legs out there, and the Nets just couldn't keep it together. The Lakers, Anthony Davis absolutely dominated this game in the boards, got a bunch of putbacks in terms of second chance points. He scored 37 points and he had 18 rebounds. The Nets just did not have an answer for Anthony Davis on the low post. And that was the one thing that really hurt the Nets throughout this game tonight. Kevin Durant, once again, he led the team in scoring with 31 points overall in 38 minutes. 8 for 16 shooting. He was 2 for 3 from the field. 13 for 15 from the foul line. He had 9 rebounds and 7 assists with 2 block shots. He did commit 3 turnovers in the game. But Kevin Durant did all he could really to help lead this team to a possible win tonight. But the rest of the starting lineup, Edmund Sumner had another solid game overall. Wasn't spectacular as he did the other night against the Clippers. But Sumner scored 13 points on 5 of 12 shooting in 26 minutes. He was 1 for 5 from the 3-point line. He had 1 assist and 1 rebound with including 1 steal. So Sumner was, at, was pretty solid during the game. Cam Thomas actually ended up scoring 15 points off the bench in 23 minutes, 4 for 9 for shooting. He had 3 rebounds and 2 assists overall. So Cam Thomas was at least providing some type of scoring coming off the bench. There was no, there was no Seth Curry tonight. They were managing his injury woes. And Ben Simmons was a late scratch because of the fact he was dealing with that knee soreness. So the Nets actually held out Seth Curry and Ben Simmons before this game tonight. So the Nets were a little bit short on the rotation. They did end up getting Yuta Watanabe back. He actually, in 23 minutes, he was 5 for 8 from the field. 5 rebounds, 2 assists. He did score 11 points with one block shot. So Yuta Watanabe came right back into the game, and he played a solid role for the Brooklyn Nets. And even Mark Keith Morris, who's been sort of been out of the rotation for the past couple of games, he ended up playing 20 minutes in the game with five re 4 rebounds, 5 points, and 5 assists. But the Nets just did not have enough against the Los Angeles Lakers tonight. It just seems like defensively, the team just couldn't keep it together. They were giving up way too many second chance points on the inside. The Nets, they were drawing a little bit too many fouls. They had 17 personal fouls in the game. Lakers actually had more personal fouls than them. But the Nets, they had 12 turnovers on the game compared to the 9 by the Los Angeles Lakers. And the Nets overall, they only had 22 assists in the game, while the Lakers had four, about 25. Nets also got out-rebounded by 4. But what might have been the biggest uh, difference in the game is that the Lakers shot 40%, 41% from the three-point line. They were 11 from 27 for 40.7%, 41% from the three-point line. And the Nets, they struggled from the three-point line. They were 25 25.9% from the field, 26 from the three-point line, 7 for 27 overall. So that's where the Nets really struggle in this game is their three-point shooting consistency. <laughs> the three-point shooting overall was not good enough. That's where the Lakers really took advantage of this game tonight is the Nets just couldn't get, the, get it going from the three-point line overall. I mean, you look at the three-point numbers, besides Kevin Durant, who's two for three, Royce O'Neal, one for four. Harris, two for four. Edmund Sumner, one for five. You had Patty Mills. He was 0 for 4. He was bad behind the three-point line. He only had two points. Cam Thomas, he was 0 for 2. Yuta Watanabe, he was 0 for 2. Markeith Morris, 1 for 3. The Nets just could not hit their three-point shots tonight. And that was one of the biggest reasons why they struggled a little bit. Austin Reeves, for the Lakers, they really picked it up at the three-point line a little bit better than the Nets did. Austin Reeves and Lonnie Walker really did a good job for the Lakers in their starting lineup. Lonnie Walker, he had 25 points in the game. 
He was a good secondary scorer. And remember, the Lakers did not have LeBron James in this game. He's been dealing with some leg soreness, so he did not play tonight. But other guys like Lonnie Walker, Austin Reeves, and of course Russell Westbrook coming off the bench, they stepped up their game, and they were able to provide at least an offensive boost for the Lakers, and the Nets just couldn't be able to match up to what they had out there on the court. So the Nets, they unfortunately... They're going to be they dropped this game tonight. The Nets now are 5 and 7. I'm sorry, they're 7 and 9, 6 and 8 on 6 and 8 right now in the season. The Nets are 6 and 8 right now in the season and they have a matchup on Tuesday night on TNT against the L, against the Sacramento Kings. They're going to be at the Sacramento Kings. They're obviously still on their West Coast trip right now. So the Nets after winning two in a row, the Nets are now going to be they dropped this game tonight, the Lakers, and they're going to have a little bit of a tough matchup against the Kings on Tuesday. At least the Nets are going to get a day off to at least catch their bearings before they travel a little bit more north to take on the Sacramento Kings in Sacramento to take on De'Aaron Fox and that Sacramento, team's, Sacramento Kings team overall. But the Nets, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get upset about it. I'm not going to get nuts. I have to be honest. I think the Nets just ran out of gas. I really do. They were a shorthanded team tonight. No Ben Simmons, no Kyrie Irving, no Seth Curry. And I think that this team just ran out of gas in the end. And even without LeBron James tonight for the Los Angeles Lakers, the Nets just didn't seem like they had enough to be able to try to put up some type of uh, true pressure against this Los Angeles Lakers team. So the Nets, unfortunately, they dropped the 6-8 and eight on the season. They'll have the chance to be able to get back on the winning ways against the Sacramento team. <laughs> Going into this game on uh, Tuesday at night at 10 o'clock. So let's just see what the Nets are going to be able to do and if they can be able to bounce back against the Kings team that also has struggled this year. But the Nets overall, Durant, he did his job, 31 points on the night. Harris had 10. Harris has got to start shooting the ball a little bit more consistently and start getting this Nets team a little bit more scoring on offense. Hopefully Joe Harris can do that because we could really use his offense, especially when Seth Curry is not playing in these games. And obviously without Ben Simmons' defense, it didn't help either. Edmund Sumner had 13 points, so he's at least getting some points. Yuta Watanabe and Cam Thomas continue to be the guys that are coming off the bench to really provide that scoring consistently for the Brooklyn Nets right now without Seth Curry out there. So the Nets, they unfortunately dropped this game tonight, 116 to 103. Suspect defense, and this is the first time in five games, the sixth game right now, the Nets were going five games in a row without giving up 100 or more points in a game, and the Lakers broke that tonight with the Lakers scoring 116 and the Nets only scoring 103. So that's just something that we have to put on the sidebars. The Nets... At one point, we're holding teams below 100 points a game for the past five games, including against the Los Angeles Clippers. And the Nets just seemed like they didn't have enough tonight to keep the Los Angeles Lakers from going out there and scoring at least 100-plus points in this game. So the Nets lose a tough one tonight by 13. Let's see if they can bounce back against the Sacramento Kings on Tuesday on TNT. So we'll have to see what's going to happen. But that is your BKN Game recap for tonight. The Nets dropped this game 116 to 103 to the Los Angeles Lakers. The Nets are now 6 and 8 on the season as they continue their West Coast trip on Tuesday night, taking on the Sacramento Kings in Sacramento at 10 p.m. It'll be featured on TNT. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button below. Sub up if you haven't already to NYG Jeffy T85 for more breaking news updates, chatter and game recaps around the Brooklyn Nets. Turn on the bell for notifications on the next video or short that's going to be dropping on the channel surrounding the Nets. And let me know in the comments section what you think about tonight's Nets game. With the Nets dropping this game by 13, what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you hope the Nets can do heading into their game on Tuesday night against the Sacramento Kings. So I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your Sunday night slash Monday morning. Take it easy, and as always, let's go Brooklyn Nets. It's a Nets world, and guess what? We all just live in it.